There are two kinds of mermix, desert and jungle. In a previous series, I've created a desert mermix egg farm. In this series, I'm going to build an improved version with my very own jungle mermix hive. I just feel like mermix don't get enough attention. It's about time someone plays with them again. All right, let's get to work on the mermix egg farm. As the name suggests, the jungle mermix hives can be found in jungles. I've spotted two jungle biomes that I can explore. They are pretty far away from where I am, so I'm going to need a little help to travel a bit faster. It's time to hatch my very first dragon. I'm clearing a small area here to have some space to hatch and grow my dragon. For my first one, I'm going to pick the white one. It doesn't have a lot of textures, but it sure looks elegant. Just gotta let it sit in water. It will then turn to ice. And now I just wait for around 5 minutes. Can't believe I'm about to have my first child. Until it hatches, I need to make some preparations. I need a dragon horn to store the dragon. I need a dragon staff to command the dragon. My child also needs to be protected, so we're busting out some diamond dragon armor. It sure is taking its sweet time to come out. Oh, it was so beautiful. Now that was worth the wait. Look at that cute little yawn. It's melting my heart. Checking the gender, and it's a male. Now for the name, I picked one of your comments. Say hello to long way. I, I don't know why I said that. So weird. Okay, the dragon is here and it needs to grow. So I'm gonna hop over to my skeleton farm and grab some bones. Then I'll go to one of your bases and slap some cows. Of course I got to breed them so they can start their families again. Finally we can craft some dragon meal which I can feed my dragon to let it grow. We got 20 dragon meals out of that. Probably not enough yet to get the dragon to stage 3. Who started a zombie apocalypse? Why are there so many? Anyway I need more meat. Sorry chickens you're next on my hit list. Oh, uh, didn't mean to kill that many. Circle of life, I guess. Added another 15 dragon meals, which makes the total 36. That ought to get it to stage 3. Nope, that wasn't enough. Made another 27. Stage 3, baby. It's time to fly to the jungle. Quick second to admire long way. Excuse me. Alright, let's go. We're close to jungle number 1. I didn't spot a mermaid's hive on the map, but you never know if there's hiding one under some blocks. Oh, that's gross. That's my sister's name. Minecraft's being nasty. I've searched this entire jungle and no mermaid's was found. Jungle number 1 was a bust, so moving on to the next jungle. Here we are. Now this looks like a proper jungle. I'm sure we'll find something here. F my man. Sorry for exposing you like that, but I'm just gonna skip past it because we found our very first jungle mermix hive. The taming of a mermix hive is a brutal process, because in order to tame one, you have to give them resin chunks, and to get them, you got to kill them. So you're basically sacrificing one hive to tame another. There's the big one. The queen. I managed to get 15 resin chunks, which is not a lot. I should probably kill them with my sword and not my bow since it's got looting 3 on it. Moving on to the next hive, which I have yet to find. Jungle biomes don't appear a lot, especially with all the other biomes added by the Biomes Plenty mod. For anyone wondering what mods I'm using, I've linked the mod pack I use in the description. I finally have a way to travel across the ocean without having to deal with these sea serpents. Those guys were a huge pain in my bottom, especially taking out some pillagers. I mean, why not? How did I find the Sun Chief before a jungle biome? I guess before I can tame some mermaids, I gotta get rid of this fella. Okay, I'm taking heavy fire. I can't have another dragon die on me, so I'm just gonna put him away. Well, that was intense. One item that I forgot to craft is the summoning crystal. All I need to do is bind it to long way, and now if he should ever disappear, I can just use the crystal to summon him back. Gonna store that safely in my inner chest. And like a good father, I'm going to feed him so he can heal a bit. Okay, so I was at one heart. Very dangerous stuff I'm doing. I just couldn't resist the dragons because I need that dragon blood for a future episode. But let's get back to this episode. We finally arrived at a jungle biome. Looks like a big one too. Luckily, it also has a mermix hive. Even though I only got 15 resin chunks, I'm still going to try to tame this hive. For some reason, the mermix aren't picking them up. You know, there is a rumor about a bug regarding the mermix. It was said that the taming of a mermix hive isn't possible anymore due to the bug. You see, in order to tame a hive, you need to drop resin chunks around the worker, which are these little guys. They will then pick it up and bring it back to the hive. This process will then raise your reputation by 5 points each time. Once you reach a reputation of 75, you've unlocked trades. You can then trade with the queen for eggs, including the mermix queen egg. So it's crucial to be able to tame a hive, so if there really is a bug that prevents you from raising your reputation with them, well then I'm fucked. That would just destroy my whole dream of having my very own mermix hive and an endless amount of mermix eggs. It would mean no mermix army. Now that would just be sad. Wait, a worker actually picked one up? It's still working. Actually, it's not. I've been sitting here for over an hour and not one has picked another resin chunk up. Maybe it's just this hive that has a problem. I'm not giving up on this. I'll execute the mermix that are still here because I need more resin chunks. Then we go find another hive.
That was actually three different hives that I just took out. I needed more resin chunks and uh, let out my frustration. I found another mermix hive and this one is located in the ocean and surrounded by coral. That's a pretty cool spawn. I think I've killed enough mermix for today so I'm going to try to tame this hive. Okay, they seem to be relatively hostile towards me so just out of precaution I'll go up a bit. I got 50 resin chunks from the three hives that went extinct a couple of seconds ago. Modded Minecraft gods, please let me prove that rumor of that mermix bug wrong. I really need this hive to be tamed. They seem like they're going for it. Well, not that one. That is a Mermix soldier and they don't pick stuff up. I feel like the workers are slacking. They got really lazy. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's running away or actually swimming away. He's doing everything in his power to not work. Relatable? I guess it's up to these guys. I just need a couple of you to pick up those shiny resin chunks. I've spread them around the entrance, but it doesn't seem to be working. This is not looking good, man. Not good at all. Why are they all chilling in the water? Oh, we're in the warm ocean, so it's like a big hot tub. No wonder no one's working. This one is chasing me now. I don't want to be hit because I don't want to do anything to cause them to dislike me even more. MLG. God, I'm good. There's the queen. She should really get her subjects in line. Great, now a sea serpent has arrived. You know what I'm calling it. It's over. The rumor of the bug is confirmed, which means that taming a Myrmix hive is impossible and thus makes it impossible to trade for a Myrmix queen egg. I'm gonna be honest, this sucks. My dream of having my own Myrmix hive is fading away. It doesn't seem like a bug fix is coming. It is said that the next update for the Ice and Fire mod is coming out for Minecraft version 1.19. This means that this bug will remain in this version. You know what? No, I'm not giving up just yet. I'm going to look for a different way to get a Myrmix queen egg. I believe that we can do it. Okay, yeah, there's no other way. It literally says in the wiki that the queen's egg can only be obtained by trading. I've never felt this depressed. What if we look at this in a totally different way? I've been so focused on creating a farm with my own tamed Myrmix hive that I totally disregarded the fact that wild Myrmix queens also spawn eggs. We can make the egg farm work with a wild Myrmix queen. I don't get my own hive, but I get all the eggs that I need. So I still have a chance to complete half of my dream. I've got to try. Okay, so I'm at a different location at another hive, and I've actually tried to make a Myrmix egg farm here. But as always, everything has just gone terribly wrong. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. So first I chained up the Myrmix queen and started to build the farm. After I made some progress, my game started to lag. My internet went down bad, which led to me being kicked out of the server. So on my screen, I wasn't on the server anymore, but on the server, it said I was still online. While my character was on the server, the queen somehow managed to get to me and kill me. And as if that wasn't bad enough, when I logged back on, the queen just disappeared without a trace. So yeah, all that progress just went down the drain. But we're not stopping. The Minecraft gods may have been shitting all over me since the start, but, well, they're isn't really an end to that sentence, just wanted to say that, that the Minecraft gods aren't on my side. Nevertheless, we continue. This looks like a promising jungle. We got another one. I just got rid of all the Myrmix except the Queen, the only one we need. Mining these blocks takes forever, so first let me set up my beacon. Don't tell me the queen disappeared. Oh, it's just back here. Let's chain her up. Oof, got a nice banking. Let's name her Matilda, just in case, so she doesn't despawn. Now we can get back to building the egg farm. Basically, we'll have water streams flowing to the center and a magma block in the middle to break the eggs. And of course, we got a hopper minecart underneath to collect the eggs. First step is to mine out this area. The reason why the beacon is vital is because it doesn't matter what tool you use, you mine pretty much at the same rate. These mermix blocks are strong. I'm slowly making progress with the mining. I also need to place a wall above the center so I can hook up the queen there. That's just to keep the queen in the middle so all the eggs spawn in this area. Alright, I'm gonna place the wall around here. Yo, okay, somehow the queen got over here, even though it's chained up. I'm going to move the queen's chain to the wall on top. Somehow got to get around her. I guess I'll just go above her. Yeah, that works. Oh look, some of them already hatched, but they're not mine. Gotta break the chain here. This is the dangerous part of this farm. I'll try to chain the queen to that wall at the top without getting stuck. Mission accomplished. Whoa, someone's not happy. Anyway, let's get back to mining out this area. Actually, let me move the beacon into one of these rooms so it's closer. Okay, nice. The beacon's set up. Let's head back down to mine out the area. Um, okay, where's the queen? The queen is not here. It has disappeared on me again. I very much dislike my life right now. I tried many times to make this work, but the queen always finds a way to disappear and reset my whole progress. So, yeah. This ain't gonna work. 
No wonder no one plays with them. They are buggy as hell. I'm going with my last option, which is hatching the eggs that I already got to create my own little mermaid squad. Heading back to the old hive to do that. So I want to spawn at least one of each kind of mermix. Let's place these beautiful eggs down and wait for our babies to hatch. Even though my original dream didn't pan out, I still managed to create something beautiful here. My own mermix family. So take this message with you. Even when life's smacking the hell out of you, keep going so you too can have your own mermix family. Yep. That sounds about right. Oh, and by the way, I've hidden 10 hashtags inside of this video. If you're interested in joining the Pandas SMP, leave a comment with one of the hashtags. The first comment of each hashtag gets whitelisted for the server.